Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for joining me today for another video. So in this installment, we'll be looking at a radio system with equipment built to military spec, which transmits a spread spectrum digital forerunner to DMR that can't be monitored or interfered with. IDEN is a mobile telecommunications technology developed by Motorola, which stands for Integrated Digital Enhanced Network, which provides its users the benefits of both a trunk radio system and a cellular phone service. IDEN gives users more spectral space compared to analogue cellular and two-way radio systems by using speech compression and time division multiple access, or TDMA, not unlike DMR and P25. The IDEN project initially began as MERS, or MIRS, or Motorola Integrated Radio System, back in early 1991. The on-air standard is known as Direct Connect and supports either three or six phone users per channel and six push-to-talk users per channel using TDMA. The transmit and receive time slots assigned to each other are deliberately offset in time so that a single user never needs to transmit and receive at the same time. This eliminates the need for a duplexer at the mobile end since time division duplexing of RF section usage can be performed. In this video we'll be focusing on the Motorola i355, however the first commercial IDEN handset was Motorola's L3000 which was released in around 1994. Most modern IDEN handsets use SIM cards similar to but incompatible with GSM SIM cards and there were almost 80 IDEN models produced over the years. Almost 30 models feature the off-air motor talk which is a feature on some Motorola IDEN cellular phone handsets which allows users to make short range push to talk calls to other handsets without being on the IDEN network. This feature goes by different names on IDEN service providers. In the US, Nextel called it Direct Talk and included it as a free service on most new models of Motorola handsets. It's the same system as used with Motorola standalone DTR series radios but DTR handsets and IDEN handsets with Moto Talk are not able to communicate with each other due to software settings. Moto Talk is not the same as the on network Direct Connect push to talk service. Signals are sent directly from one handset to another rather than using the cellular network as Direct Connect does. Moto Talk uses the 900 MHz ISM band rather than the frequencies allocated for IDEN cellular phone services, usually in the 800 MHz cellular band in the US and Canada. The standard uses frequency hopping spread spectrum technology rather than single fixed frequencies for each channel. There are 10 channels or hop sets available in MotorTalk and 15 privacy codes per channel. Frequency hopping spread spectrum is a spread spectrum modulation technique in which the signal is emitted over a series of pseudo random frequencies jumping from frequency to frequency synchronously with the transmitter. Unauthorised receivers will hear an unintelligible signal. In addition, private calls can be placed using the phone number assigned to the handset being called. The off-network feature on the IDEN phones will communicate with all other IDEN phones in the area on the same channel and code access number. The effective range can be reportedly in excess of 8 miles in flat terrain, but frequencies used are line of sight and are blocked by structures and vegetation. Practical ranges are usually 1 to 2 miles if you're lucky. The off-network walkie-talkie feature has a total of 10 channels on newer phones and within those 10 channels the phones can handle 15 separate group codes. This means there can be 15 conversations operating on each of the 10 channels. Only one person can talk on a code at a time and the phone can listen to all activity on a channel but cannot transmit when in this receive all mode. A SIM card is required for direct talk to operate although you do not need an active service with any provider. Similarly to the tri-square radios we looked at recently, the broad spectrum transmission offers three main advantages. Firstly, signals in spread spectrum are highly resistant to noise and interference. Secondly, signals in spread spectrum are difficult to intercept. A transmission of this type sounds like a short-lived noise or as an increase in noise on any receiver, except for the one using the sequence that was used by the transmitter. Broadcast spectrum transmissions can share a frequency band with many types of conventional transmissions with minimal interference. And thirdly, the signals cannot be interfered in a conventional manner, for example blocking the transmit or receive frequency. More sophisticated equipment such as jamming equipment that interferes with the entire frequency band would be required. Here is what the transmitted signal from an i355 handset looks like on an SDR. 
As you can see, the SDR is receiving snippets of the signal across many different frequencies. This is very similar to the tri-square transmissions, but whereas these were analog snippets, the I355 transmission is digital and the radio is outputting around 0.5 watts. The Motorola i355 has a few advantages over most of the IDEN line that supports direct talk. The first advantage is its ability to use a replacement rubber duck style antenna as opposed to the built in telescopic cellular type antenna and this helps to improve performance. With good batteries it has approximately a 4.5 hour talk time with up to 10 days of standby time. Most IDEN phones are built to military spec and the i355 is no exception. This is only a test. This is a test on IDEN. This is only a test. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. This is a test. This is a test. This is only a test. Testing on IDEN. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Over. Now, finally, most importantly, these radios are not legal to use in the UK as they transmit within the UK and European cellular bands. They were made for the US market on US cellular networks and for US spectrum allocations. For this reason they tend not to come up on eBay UK too often. When they do appear they have a tendency to be removed by eBay after communication from Ofcom. So I hope you enjoyed this video about IDEN and the spread spectrum frequency hopping. Really really nice and secure radio technology, it's just a shame it can't be used in the UK. This video is just for information and educational purposes only, so if you do have some of these sets, they are not legal to use in the UK, so make sure you adhere to your local telecommunications laws. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any comments, suggestions or questions, then drop them in the box below and I'll get back to you. And all that's left to say is 7-3. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one.